And that is our well drilling equipment. Gibby. Gibby's a dumb dog. That's our dog barking at the well drilling equipment. That is a big truck. Wowzers. That guy's a good driver. Those orange flags, that's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Looks like he's got it right on. and get set up. Been a long day. Got the U-Haul unloaded. 26 foot U-Haul, 12 foot travel trailer behind the, or 12 foot utility trailer behind the U-Haul. Both of them packed. Got that stuff dropped off in two Connex boxes. And we got the well drilling rig sitting here. They left for the day, they're done. Five o'clock came and went and they just packed up their stuff and left. A whole bunch of gray earth matter. 
from deep down inside the dirt, inside the earth. Yikes. They said they went 60 feet down and hit hard rock. So they only had to do encasement for 60 feet. And I think as far as drilling, they're down around 180 feet right now. And they'll go down to about 350, 450 before they hit a really solid uh, water source according to the other wells around here I'm trying to find a way to go across here the other wells around here are about I'd say average of 400 feet down so it's kind of what we're looking at other than making a mess that's what it is Big hole in the ground. Crazy equipment over here. All kinds of drill bits and whatever else. Take samples out of the dirt that's coming up. Just see what they're drilling through. They have to they have to log all the different layers that they drill through. The state wants to, wants to know what's down there and what they're drilling through, what they're coming across. So, it's pretty interesting to uh, watch them do it for a while. It gets kind of monotonous after a while and I don't feel like standing around. So I took some pictures along the way and talked to them a little bit about, about what they do and what they've run into. So, this is a brand new rig. I think he said they've done about 20, 20 or 30 wells with this rig. So, anyways, by tomorrow, we should have a, a well that all we need to do is hook electricity to and a pipe french it over to the trailers and we'll have running water cross your fingers if they don't hit water we're in deep trouble that's a lot of money wasted but i have faith they say it's they say it's down there i believe them let's go to the connex boxes and i'll show you how much work we've got done over there i don't know how much you can see in here <clears throat> it's pretty dark the sun's kind of going down over there so we got this shelving put up all the way to the back. We've got some more shelving we can put up when we want. Thought about running a, a workbench down this side over here. I've still got two big toolboxes to bring up from my house. So I've got to make room for those. But this is the workshop of the two Conics boxes. This is where I can actually make stuff, build stuff, get stuff going. For the house when we start building the house or anything needs to happen down there need to fix something i can make stuff here i've got a generator that i can fire up and fire up the air compressor get everything going again i don't know how dark it is hopefully you can see something back there this is where all our furniture everything we've been we had at our house down there since the travel trailers they already come with beds and dressers built into them we don't need this stuff. We did do a little remodeling to them, but everything. Oh, fridge, washer, dryer down there. We'll eventually have to get the washer and dryer out. We'll make a spot where we can do our laundry. All these boxes, everything. That's it. And we can hopefully we'll get the aisle way cleared out so we have an aisle way down the middle. And we can get to our stuff as we need it, if we need it. And that right there is more of a chore than it sounds like. Just trying to organize, organize the Duconics boxes from workshop to house stuff. 
this little cabinet here that we decided we didn't want anymore. So we let it kind of fall out of the back of the U-Haul and we'll take that off the dump here whenever we make a dump run. But that took basically all day to organize both those Connex boxes with our stuff in it. But we turn in the U-Haul tomorrow morning. They're gonna finish up the well tomorrow. And I think I'm leaving here Wednesday or Thursday, which is gonna be the day after that, to go back down and get the rest of the stuff. So if you like what you're seeing here, guys, you like the channel, tell your friends about it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, smash that like button. Get the word out there. Better than that, go make something.